I've really been enjoying playing with virtual reality and using it to just unwind as well as exploring ways that we can integrate it into our projects. I decided to try to take my headset to the limits to try and make it as close to reality as possible. This involved improving the sound system, the tactile system, as well as some external peripherals. First up, I wanted to improve the sound. The original speakers inside my Quest 1 headset work actually really good. They give you a lot of sense of space, but I wanted to try some external ones at a reasonable price and see how good they could be. This episode brought to you in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts, and assembly, as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. I initially tried some earbud style headphones and these were just simply no good for the VR experience. They were forever falling out, they didn't give a good spatial representation and just overall weren't great. So up came these ones. These are an over the ear style that clips onto the Quest headset and just hang down over your ears. A pretty cool little system of clips and make no mistake they don't clamp down on your head you don't want that you want them just sort of hovering just kissing your ears and that's what these do when they're adjusted correctly you basically you lose track of the fact that you have a headset on you you don't notice that the sound is being piped into your ears it just comes in like the natural world around you would which is really cool there's different versions of these for the different headsets, this being the Quest 1. They have this style that clips right onto the side bracketry. Uh, this is the earbuds that I was using before. Absolutely horrible. They are not well suited. Maybe if you were just jumping into the headset for a moment, but even then, the over the ear is much, much better. Assembly onto the headset is super simple, nothing to it. Just clip them on, adjust them so that they're directly positioned over your ears because each person is gonna have the headset sort of in a different place. Be a little gentle with them. Um, some of the bracketry looks like it could be broken if you got rough with it. I didn't have a problem. In this case, I have the comfort head strap around the back. That just makes it a little bit more comfortable on your head and between that and these, uh, these headphones, we have a a modular system that kind of looks like it the way it should have come from factory and I'm really really happy with it but the proof is in the use and getting into VR and getting into some games and some simulations and testing it out that's the key and I found right away that I I was in much more immersed in the VR environment the virtual reality environment around me was much more believable I I became unaware of me being in the room anymore. So much so that I've actually added a fan on the floor, not only to keep me cool, but to give me spatial awareness of where I'm, where I'm pointed in the room. And this helps combat some of the motion sickness and um, any of the vertigo that you might run into. Uh, the, the audio representation of space is is really really good and i'm not sure whether it's the headset or these earphones or both but they work magnificent for the price and i'm super happy with the purchase in an upcoming video i'll show you some of the other tactile stuff i'm trying out the big one being the be haptics vest and the force feedback gun stock the they really do take this to the next level. They make VR a true joy to play with. So cheers guys, good luck in all your projects. Right in there, which is kind of neat. And if I was unmuted, I could chat and carry on with these people. No idea who they are. Oh yeah, the, the avatars um, on the Quest 